getting ready for another edition of High School Athletics here on News Channel Nebraska. I'm Chris Whitney. Before we get to the action, we are joined once again by a certified athletic trainer from Faith Regional Health Services. Today we are joined by Adam Herbert. Adam, thanks for joining us. You bet. Well, now a concussion is a very controversial and important topic in the world of sports today, but ultimately it's extremely important to make sure that you take care of any suspected head injury with the appropriate medical professionals. Describe for us what exactly is a concussion. Well, a concussion is a, any trauma-induced uh, change in mental status. And um, so that may or may not include a loss of consciousness. Sometimes that's kind of a myth. So I guess with that, who is at risk of potentially suffering from concussions? Well, anybody potentially that plays sports is at risk. Obviously, you're more at risk if you play a con contact sport, such as football, uh, soccer, wrestling, hockey, etc. And, and just like with any injury, potentially, there's always a risk of a concussion, but the risk is going to go up or down depending on, you know, the sport that you play. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So how, if I'm playing a sport like that, how do I recognize if I've had a concussion? Uh, well, the most common signs and symptoms of a concussion are going to be your headache, nausea, dizziness, uh, sensitivity to light and noise, um, you know, those are the basic ones. Certainly that's not a conclusive list of your signs and symptoms. Um, but any time that your, your neural function is impaired at all, uh, you're just looking for things that are out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just not feeling right. I'm confused. Um, you know, but there could be a wide array of, of symptoms that pop up. What do I do if I think that I may have had a concussion? Sure. Well, Starting with your athletic trainer is a good place to start, um, but you need to notify somebody, uh, whether that's coach, parent, principal, whoever, or if they haven't noticed already that something isn't quite right. Um, that 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 makes that they will make sure that you are um, entered into the return to play protocol, mm -hmm. which is uh, just a progressive uh, return to activity. And um, in Nebraska now, there's legislature in place that uh, requires any concussed athlete to complete the return to play protocol uh, with a, a licensed healthcare professional. And uh, once, once that is completed, then, then you're able to return to activity. Well, certainly a very important topic that we you know, hear a lot about, certainly with football and other sports, as we mentioned. Adam, it was a pleasure to have you joining us here today. Thank you. Adam Herbert from Faith Regional Health Services, certified athletic trainer, getting us ready for another round of high school sports here on News Channel Nebraska.